Hello, my name is Dr. Stevens. I am director of the Acorn School of Charleston. And I'm here today to share with you some of the big ideas that are associated with Waldorf education. Rudolf Steiner was a philosopher and scientist who was well known in Europe during the early 1900s. And he was a man of great spiritual insight. He was prescient. He could kind of see what was coming before it even arrived, almost like Leonardo da Vinci designing a flying machine 500 years before they flew. And the thing that came from Steiner, there were many things. You've got a worldwide agricultural movement called biodynamic agriculture, a worldwide movement in medicine called anthroposophical medicine, which, by the way, Miss Renee is a practitioner of. And, of course, Waldorf education. Thousand schools in 83 countries around the world. If Steiner was alive today, he would be doing TED Talks and there would be thousands of YouTube videos of his lectures and presentations. Waldorf grade schools are not like any of the other schools in Charleston. We do not have pressure cooker classrooms. We do not have computers in the early grades. We do not have worksheets and prolific amounts of homework. What we do have is a light, fun-filled, festive classroom. You can see here on the top left the little early childhood children in their morning circle with their teacher. Below that, you can see the children learning, developing their musical abilities through playing them with a recorder together from grade one. The top middle, a student working diligently in their main lesson books. Below that, painting class, which happens once a week. The little girl in the bottom right working on her handwork projects. And on the upper right, this is what we call a form drawing. And form drawing starts in first grade as a simple introduction to straight lines and curved lines. And from that simple introduction, the beginning of first grade, you can see how the drawing capacity and the artistic capacity of that fourth grader has developed significantly and beautifully over the years. Waldorf honors the vast spectrum of human intelligence. William Blake, hundreds of years ago, told us that the human being is born like a garden, ready, planted, and sown. Howard Gardner, in the 1990s, popularized Blake's ideas with the concept of multiple intelligences. Of course, we have the academic, the mathematic, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Of course, every school does that. But in Waldorf, we also focus on these other types of intelligence. And we draw out and develop them. If we look at the world around us, the natural world, we've come to understand through comparing different creatures that the more complex the creature, the longer it takes to develop to maturity. Consider my friend Bruno here. He's certainly a complex creature, but not as complex as a human being. And he developed to maturity seven times faster than I did. Piaget and Steiner suggest that the intellect is ripe for rigorous training around puberty. And yet, in almost every school in this country, we are forced feeding early conceptual training way down into the preschool. Steiner recommended that the longer the children can live in this imaginative, childlike world, the pre-intellectual phase, he called it, the more they can swim in the waters of the pre-intellectual phase, the more rigorous and strong will be their adult thinking. 
there is no rush in child development. It's a misguided idea. So what does the first grade encompass for the child? Well, as you can see here, they've completed that early phase, that first seven-year phase of their development. And now with the change of teeth, we know that they're ready to go on to real formal learning. And we enter into this learning in a, in a rigorous, fun-filled way. The curriculum is outrageous. We tell them many, many stories. We explore nature. They learn music. They learn Spanish through Mrs. Miss Maggie. They learn handwork through Amanda. And Mr. Lee paints with them once a week. Here is a painting, by the way from young Nick Curia. Uh, he painted this on a seven and a half birthday, and it was the first time the children had taken color into form. So all the painting classes all year have been just color, swirling and swimming together. But now I asked him to do this next thing, and I look at how well Nick did. Here is a week that a grade one teacher in a Waldorf school has drawn out for their students. And you can see it's a rigorous schedule. They're learning the recorders, they're learning Spanish, they're having form drawing, they're having extra main lesson to sharpen their skills. They're having crafts time and reading times and games time and handwork time. The main lesson, though, always starts the day, the first two hours. And that's when the main lesson teacher works with those children to develop the reading, writing, and arithmetic skills that are so important in first grade. So it starts out with this focus time with Mrs. Collins, and then there's a break, and then they move on through the day, through the various special subjects and nature time and, of course, lunch and recess. So a typical first grade schedule, and I think it's rigorous myself. In the end, what Alicia and I hoped when we started the school seven years ago was that we could grow and develop like the City of Lakes Welder School in Minneapolis. That school recent, recently had its 25th anniversary and honored the founding mothers, one of whose name was Nina Utney, and Nina came to me years ago and asked me to be her son's class teacher, and I did. And I had that class from first through sixth. You can see Oliver there, as sweet as sweet can be, the top picture. And then Oliver, still sweet, as a young man with his beautiful wife and uh, his mom, Nina, and his uh, dynamic brother, Eli. But this, this is what can happen in a school. And when a Waldorf school's really working, it's, it it's in inspiring and exciting, not only for the children, but also for the parents and the teachers. And that's really, you know, the, the, the true joy, as George Bernard Shaw would say, in this, in this adventure, you know, uh, engaging in a purpose that you consider to be a mighty one and growing a Waldorf community in a, in a town like Charleston, South Carolina, is, it's a mighty purpose. And I'm thrilled with all the progress we've made and, and even more thrilled to see how the future goes. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to learn more about Waldorf education. Please reach out to the school if you have any questions or would like to set up a tour. Our registration process is online and can also be found on our website under admissions. I hope you continue to do well, and most of all, I hope you can find a way to join the ACORN School. Your children will thrive here.